Davey, three points for us this afternoon. The results going our way were in the hat for the last 16. You must be pleased with that outcome. Yep. We'll just leave it there. No, that's right. We're in the hat the next round. Let's go. Nah, I don't think the performance was great at times today, but I think the subs changed the flow of the game slightly. Thought they brought a positive impact to the game, increased the energy levels and the intensity. Um, we got two goals. Two goals and a clean sheet and we're in the next round, so I think you've got to say the objective's been completed. It'd be nice to go on your CD, to be honest. Um, but it was times in the game we had to commit bodies forward because at half time I said, look guys, it's looking like we're going to have to go and try and score three or four goals here. So we were over committing at times in the second half, which left us a wee bit susceptible on the counter attack. Um, but listen, I can only praise the players we got there. We ten men last week managed to dig out three points. We Sultanland's played a huge part in qualification for the next round, I think. We'd all be sitting here disappointed if we weren't watching the Aberdeen game tomorrow, knowing that we're in the hat for the next yeah. round, and we are. So it gives us a, something positive to look forward to on Sunday. John Kelly obviously scored from the, the penalty spot, a, a well-converted strike, and then Phil Cancar, who, who came off the bench to play play left back, you know, he's predominantly a centre half. Thought he did very well as well, and he, nice for him to to get his first goal along with Sean getting his first goal for the club too. Yeah, listen, probably I said 99 out of 100 to the press, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to edit that. I think Sean Kelly scored 999 out of 1,000. Honestly, that's how much faith I've got to Sean. I think he's probably the best finisher at a club, if I'm honest. Strikes a ball incredibly well. So, had every faith in Sean Lee Bruce. He's got it, obviously, um, as he should be. Um, Phil, Phil came in as a right centre-half, but I've got, I think, Phil can play a variety of positions. I think he can play DCM. I think he could play right back. Jackson was on the bench, but Jackson was just a bench fuller today. Steph was meant to be a bench fuller today as well, to be honest. But Jackson, I said to Andy, look, can I sit him on the bench? I knew Jacko couldn't go on the part of the day. Um, so, and I've always had it in my head that Phil could play it right back as well. I know we Jamie can play full back, but I think Phil's probably one of the quickest at the club. And the boy Aguman, who's playing out there, is really quick. So it made sense to put Phil there. But listen, it paid off. I think he had a steady game. He grew into the game. Use of the ball will tidy that up at times. But um, takes his goal really, really well. Made a couple of great runs as well. Um, so, nah, really pleased for Phil. Really pleased that he went and got his goal. Really pleased for the players, to be honest. Because I think the heart and the commitment and the desire they showed last week ultimately led to today's game. And last week playing with 10 men for 70 minutes and ultimately picking three yeah. points up. Played a huge part. Today, I think they were a wee bit under um, strength today, Kelly, if I'm honest. They were missing three centre-halves and they had a lot of kids in the bench. And I've got to give them a wee bit of credit because I think they set up well. They were in a low block and they made it difficult for us at times. Um, but fair play to our players. We went and scored two goals and got a clean sheet. And really, there's not a lot more I can ask, to be honest. Overall, looking at the, the competition as a whole, um, despite the blip against Inverness, that's us through and you know it continues the, the fantastic record that we've got in this competition. How happy are you overall with, with the four games? Really happy. So I'm thinking since League One, that's seven years, fifth year in the Premier League, so fifth year in the Cup Championship in League One, I think that's us qualified for the Cup um, the next round of the Cup section in the last seven years. It potentially could be eight. So I think for a club our size, I think that's brilliant, I honestly do. We had a really, really difficult cup section this week. Um, this time round, you had all the Premiership playoff winners, League Two winners, League One winners. So it was a really, really difficult. You had it going in with teams with a lot of momentum behind them as well. And I think we've been a wee bit unfortunate at times with men getting sent off, to be honest. Um, so just delighted to get through it. Delighted to get through it and delighted to be in the heart for the next round. And just finally, obviously, looking ahead to, to next Saturday, um, totally different task ahead as we, we welcome Rangers get excited for the, the first Premiership game of the campaign not really no <laughs> I was at the Rangers game on Tuesday night they were phenomenal honestly Declan Rice Jared Bowen Antonio Zuma Fabi Anski and I thought Rangers were very very good honestly I think it's going to be a cracking title race this year and then I look at it today, Harry Kane came up with two goals, 50, 59 minutes to beat Rangers 2-1. Um, so that shows you what we're up against. I think Rangers as a club have kicked on massively. I think that momentum since Gio's come in, he's made them better. They've kicked on. They've 
brought a lot of revenue into the club commercially and from player sales and I think they've used that very, very wisely. So I think we're going to be facing a different animal this time round. You've got the Champions League qualifier on the Thursday, so everybody that sets foot in the park on Saturday is going to be vying for a place in this um, huge, huge game for Rangers. So I think that's going to play an added bonus for the Rangers players, if I'm honest, an added impetus. But listen, we can only look at ourselves, look at how we're going to approach the game, but I think it's, I think it's going to be a really, really difficult game, if I'm honest.